Hi everyone, welcome back and thank you for joining me today. So I am going to have, well I have my finale for Finish uh, 7 by Spring and I'm filming the finale a little bit earlier than um, the first day of spring actually because I feel that the products that I have, I, I'm not going to make that much more progress on them here from here in a couple of days so i just decided to film the finale and just get it over with and have one less project plan to worry about because i have more project plans coming up so let me get started with my progress very happy with this first item that i'm going to mention because i've been working on it since last year and last last year so that will be my argan oil from physicians formula this thing, you guys, I thought it was not going to happen, but finally I figured out a way uh, to make it go by quicker and still get the benefit out of it, if you must say that. Uh, so I decided to stop putting it in my hair and just put it on my body. So I have a lotion that I'm trying to work, uh, work through or pan unofficially. So what I did is I mixed this in with my lotion and I just rubbed it on my arms, on my legs, wherever I need to put, apply it, that's what, what I did and it went by so quick. I got through it so quick. I can't believe I didn't do that earlier. But yeah, this one is gone. The thing that I am gonna do is I am gonna keep this uh, bottle because I've used this like for my, um, like for acetone and stuff like that. I use it, I use a dropper to put some drops in my nail polishes that I'm trying to fix that are getting like a little bit dried up or goopy and I have fixed a couple of them so I am keeping this um for uh repurposing purposes so yeah that is one down that I that I got now I have uh the essence make me brow and this product oh my god you guys I hated it so much at the beginning of the project and that is why I put it in this project but I have learned to love it because I learned to use it. So, hold on. Sorry about that, guys. Interruptions. But like I was saying, I really, really learned to use this product and I learned to love it. So, this is something that I'm definitely going to be repurchasing because I don't do my eyebrows every day. So, this is something that I can just use uh, to just to make me some brows. <laughs> That's what it is. So yeah, this still weighs the same, but I have been using it a lot and um, I don't know when it's going to be close to done because the, I cannot see through the packaging. But it, this was a success for me because I learned to love it and now I have something that I can use when I'm just not going to do an all out brow look, whatever. So that's that. Now I have another success, which is the LA Girl Pro Concealer. This is what it looks like. And this one, really, I cannot squeeze any more out. Um, I did take out the stopper, but there's a little bit in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut it in half and uh, use what's in there. And there's not a lot left. So this one, I am considering it done as well because I can't squeeze any more out of there. So, and it's not much longer till it's done. Maybe a couple more uses. So that's another one that's out. Um... Now I have my, let me get it, my Perfusion Palette Blue Eyeshadow. So let me show you, and this is the shadow that likes to, this is the palette that has a shadow that likes to jump. This is the jumping shadow palette. So there you go. I have been using this blue shade right here, and as you can see, there is a big dip um, as compared to these other ones. There is a dip in that shadow and I'm so, so happy that I got so much use out of it. And I've been using it in combination with, with this black one. So those two together, I just love it. I could wear it every day. I would have worn it every day if it weren't because I have other shadows that I'm panning. But look at that, you guys. I never thought that I would make that much progress because I don't use this. Oh, no. That's it. I'm done with you. I'm done whatever uh, I didn't think that I was gonna make that much progress on this shadow so that I'm really excited maybe I'll bring it back with another project um, in another project pen I don't know maybe but I am happy about that one even though I didn't use it all up also I only used it like once or twice a week so yeah maybe I could have finished it if I used it like every day but 
I made good progress on that one and that's what counts. Now I have another product that I really neglected, which is the BH Cosmetics Forever Nude Lipstick. So let me show you where I'm at right now. Let me show you just like this. That is where I'm at, and if I scroll, roll it all the way up, but that is the actual amount of product that I have left. And I neglected this because I've been focusing on my Juicy Tube. So I've been using that and that took up most of my time. So uh, I would forget about this. So that this one I don't consider such a success, but here are my, mar my markings from last time to now, it's only that little bit. So it's kind of like disappointing, but at the same time, these colors are so pigmented that you really just don't need to like apply so much. You do need to reapply, but since I didn't use it that often, I didn't make that much progress. Let me move on to better uh, to better news. And that's going to be with this e.l.f. lip liner, which I did get to finish up. And I finished this up quite, quite a, some time ago. And this is, I believe it was a color spice. So, yeah, I couldn't sharpen it anymore. And it's it got stuck in there. So this one is gone. One lip liner out of my collection. That is like awesome. I'm trying to be lip liner less because they're just pointless to me. If you use them, that's awesome, but I just, I just don't. So that is one that I have out, which also helps with my New Year's makeup resolutions. Uh, last but not least, also part of my makeup resolution is to hit pan in as many blushes as I can and to maybe use up a couple of them. So that was my goal with this, was to hit pan and hit pan I did. I even expanded a little bit from last time and as you can see there are some visible grids here on the pan, on the blush itself. So I am happy about this one. I do use it every now and again, but right now I'm focusing on the other blush that I have going on for, I think it's my drop 10 by summer. So I wish I could have finished this up, but I didn't. So I'm focusing on the other one on hitting pan. So those are all the items that I have for my finish by spring. So in total, I did finish one, two, three products and I hit goal on one. So, I have four products that I did not totally finish off, but that's okay. There are other project pans, and I am happy with the progress that I did make on this uh, seasonal challenge. So, that is it. One less seasonal challenge, and on to the next. Thank you guys so much for joining me, and don't forget to look for my Instagram account at In the Beauty Mix if you aren't following me yet. So um, I'll be po posting all these items on there as well. Thank you guys, and I'll see you on my next one. Bye.